What's up guys, Dirk here. Today's video is by popular request. It is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to use Bybit Exchange to be able to trade cryptocurrencies with leverage. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to create an account, how to fund the account, and then how to use the Bybit Crypto Derivatives Exchange to be able to trade perpetual contracts or trade futures with up to 100X leverage. I'm gonna show you how everything works, how to take positions, how to set stop losses, and all of that good stuff. So let me hop over into my computer screen and then I will take you through that step by step. So if you do not yet have a Bybit account and you are part of the eligible countries, unfortunately the US is not included and you want to create your account, I highly recommend using my referral link below this video because that way it'll set you up for exclusive bonuses, not only deposit bonuses, but you will also be able to, to participate in custom trading competitions that I hold on Bybit and those prize pools are only for people who signed up through my referral link. So if you haven't yet created a Bybit account, sign up through my link in the description down below. Now, of course, before we start a mandatory disclaimer, trading with leverage futures trading is highly risky and most retail traders lose money because they don't know what they're doing and they don't have a strategy in place. Now, if you're watching this because you're already in my IC VIP membership, then you have the entire uh, trading and technical analysis course, and that gives you a much better understanding of how to approach leverage trading with a very low risk strategy. If you're not yet a member, then click the second link in the description down below. You'll be able to sign up for my IC VIP membership, 60 day money back guarantee. Come and learn before you start trading with leverage. So once you've created your account, you log in to the main page and this is what you'll see. This is usually where you see updates. So any type of promotions, any type of important stuff that's going on, they will let you know here on the home page. Then at the top, you have your navigation menu, right? So you have your buy crypto. You can uh, deposit fiat to your account. You have to do KYC to be able to do fiat deposits, but you can also do crypto deposits, which is the easiest which is what I do, which is what most people do. You can simply deposit Bitcoin or Ethereum or stable coin like USDT or USDC. That is the easiest way to fund the account. You don't have to deal with bank accounts and all that kind of stuff. Very, very easy. At the top, you have your various tools like markets, trade. This is where you can choose all your different platforms, such as spot trading. The cool thing about Bybit is that currently there's no spot trading fees. So it's very easy and convenient to be able to trade spot on here. Withdrawals are super, super fast. So uh, I personally use it for spot trading too. I think it's great for that. This video is all though about leveraged trading, right? And we're not talking about leveraged tokens. Personally, I like to stay away from those. I don't like them because they're only good in certain ways. Actually, if you hold those for longer periods of time, they tend to work against you. So stick to perpetual contracts is my personal preference. So you can see you can trade here with margin up to 5x, right? If you prefer to trade margins, but I like to trade with derivatives and I like to trade perpetual contracts. So for that, we would head over to derivatives and we would choose what we want to trade. So we can go to the derivatives portal, but also simply choose USDT or USDC perpetuals. Now, before we get started with how to actually place any trades and how the interface works, what you need to do, of course, is you need to fund your account with real money to be able to trade, right? And like I said, I prefer to deposit crypto. So very easily, you head over to your assets. Um, I've deposited $49 here just to show you for this example. And you can simply click on deposit over here. Very, very simple. You can choose the coin that you want to deposit, whether that's BTC, Ethereum. Easiest is just USDT or USDC, in my opinion, because then it's stable, you know your balance, and then you can trade with that. So very, very simple. You choose what you want to do. You choose the network that you want to deposit to. So for example, with USDT, you want to choose which network you want to deposit, whether it's uh, Binance Smart Chain, whether it's ERC20, whether it's TRC20. Of course, make sure you select the right chain for the the method that you're sending with so once you've funded your account you can see we have 49 dollars over here we need to transfer that because that's in my spot account right now so we want to transfer that to the derivatives account so very easy transfer from spot to derivatives we're going to transfer the whole 49 dollars it's an internal transfer so there's no fees associated with that very very easy you're just moving it from your spot wallet 
into your derivatives account. So now that that is out the way, we head over to the derivatives portal, and this is where we can trade with leverage. This is where we can change trade perpetual contracts, okay? So you can see it gives you a bunch of information over here, but what we wanna do is we will simply wanna go and trade. So this is what the derivatives platform, the interface looks like. And it's very straightforward. Let me walk you through every part of the process, okay? The most important thing, of course, will be here on the left. This will be what you are actually trading. So you can see over here, you can choose between USDT perpetual and USDC perpetual. It's just the different stable coin that you wanna use. So whatever your preference is, whether you prefer USDT or whether you feel better about holding USDC and trading with USDC, that is completely up to you. Um, I, I feel like trading USDT is a little bit easier in terms of the perpetuals, but the USDC works just fine as well. And you can see you have all the different pairings over here, whether that's Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Solana, uh, BTC, USD, Doge, whatever you want, right? A lot of, lot of options over here, um, LTC, whatever we can trade. So that is where you choose the pair that you wanna trade. I'm gonna leave it selected on BTC US dollar, okay? Then, very simply, what we will have here is we have a embedded chart from TradingView. You can see over here, I barely ever use this. I simply just use TradingView in a separate window for my charting and my analysis, and I, I basically don't even look at this specific chart. This is the order book. I also barely ever look at this when trading with futures um, because uh, it's not part of my strategy that I follow. Down here, of course, you have your open positions your closed PL after you open or close positions, and of course, also any type of orders that you've placed, whether that's an active order or a conditional order. And if I have any open positions or open orders, that will show up here. Maybe we'll do that in a second. The next important thing that you need to know is here on the right, this is where you place your orders, where you work out your position sizing, and where you actually buy and sell. So things you need to know, this is the leverage that you are using and you can select here between cross and isolated. What the difference is, it explains it over here. Basically cross margin is when you open one position it uses the entire margin that you've got in your derivatives account. So in this case I have $49 and if I open a position and I select it on cross, it means it is taking that entire $49. So you wanna be very careful with this. Personally, I like to use isolated because it allows me to limit my risk to whatever I want it to be for a single position. So if my balance here is $49 and I only want to risk say $5, I'm going to isolate that position so that it's not going to take my whole $49, but it's only going to take the $5. And that's obviously something you want to pay attention to. Then we have the leverage, which you can set up to 100x on Bybit. Now, of course, I don't have to tell you this, but using 100x leverage is very, very risky. And Again, if you go through my trading course, I explain all this in detail, there's no way I can go through it now. But basically, the higher the leverage, the closer your liquidation point. So it is possible, if you are experienced, to trade with higher leverage, 50x, 75, 100x. But at that point, and, and if I do it, I'm looking at one minute charts to be able to get exact, exact entries because your stop loss has to be so close to your entry you have to enter at almost the near perfect position. It is possible, but again, it depends on your own strategy. If you're swing trading and you're looking at hourly charts or four hourly charts or even daily charts, you're not gonna be trading with 100X or 50X leverage, okay? So be very careful with that. Make sure you know what you're doing in terms of your strategy. This is just walking you through how everything actually works, okay? So let's keep it on 10X leverage for now, isolated, we confirm over there and that is now set up as you'll be able to see here on the top, isolated 10X. Then you have your different types of orders. So you have limit orders and you have market orders. Very, very simple. Market is if I wanna buy or sell Bitcoin right now, the perpetual on leverage, I can just simply put in how much I wanna buy, say 10% of, uh, of my uh, account balance right now. I can simply buy or sell and it'll take that position right now at market. But that is not always what I want to do, right? Sometimes I want to place a limit order. I don't want to buy right now or sell right now. But if the market drops, for example, maybe I want to place a limit buy order much lower. And then I can place that order so that when the price comes down, automatically 
it'll trigger that buy order. So let's just show you that, for example. So we're creating a limit order over here. Let's just say if it hits the bottom over here, this level, 16,654, okay? So we type in 16,654. We can do 10% of the account balance in this case. And then what we can do is we can click on buy long. Now, if I want to protect myself and I want to put in a take profit or stop loss, what we can do is we can select this little box over here and this is gonna allow me to put a take profit in automatically. So if my order gets triggered, my buy order, then I can say I wanna put an order, uh, take profit at 17,000 and you can see over here, it'll tell me what my profit is. I'll make 69 cents in profit and my stop loss, let's just say I wanna put my stop loss below here. So let's just say I put my stop loss at 16,500 and you'll see my my uh, loss. Um, worst case, if it hits, if it continues to drop, will be 30 cents. So in this case, I'd be risking 30 cents to make 69 cents. That's one to two risk reward. It's not the best setup, but I'm just showing you here, for example. And then I could click buy long, and it would actually go and ask me here to confirm first of all. But after that, it will place the trade. So here. It confirms everything I've put in. You can see the order price where I'm willing to buy if the price gets there, 16,654. The order cost, what it's gonna cost me in terms of my balance. Remember, I have $49 in my balance, so this will cost me $3.36 of my balance for this position. You can see over here, my liquidation price, that's not important because I put in my stop. Stop is at 16,500, take profit at 17,000 and I can simply click on confirm. And in this case now, what I've done is I've went and placed the order, which you can see is now in the active section of the orders. So I haven't taken a position, there's absolutely nothing going on, but now this order is live, and if the price were to drop, you can see where the dotted line is over here, if the price drops to that dotted line, it's going to fill my buy order, and then um, it activates my conditional orders, which is my take profit and my stop loss, which I just showed you where I set them. So very simple. I can place as many orders on different pairs as I want. This is how it works. And then if I change my mind and I want to cancel that order, I simply go over here to the active orders. I click cancel and there you go. It is gone. Now there are no active orders. So very, very simple. It works in reverse too with being able to sell short. You simply put your price where you're willing to sell and you complete the take profit and stop loss where you wanna add that in, and very, very simple that way. Market, um, I can show you how to do this just for fun, very simple, um, let's just say 10%, let's just say I wanna buy right now. I'm simply buying Bitcoin right now on 10X leverage with 10% of my balance, which is $4.90 in theory. Um, so I click here, it gives me my confirmation of what I want. Obviously, I can turn that off too. I click on confirm. And here we go. That order has been placed. And you can see now we have a live position over here um, in this account here for the video. You can see the value of the order is $33 because it's 10x leverage. So what I'm actually putting in is $3.37. The entry price is where I just entered uh, 18,864. This is my liquidation price, meaning if the price drops to this level, I'll lose um, my, my position. It'll automatically get liquidated. You can see the position margin here. This is what I'm putting in right now, $3.39. And here it shows me my unrealized profit and loss and my realized profit and loss. Quite simply, the difference is the realized profit and loss. When you open and close positions, there are fees associated with that. So this is something that I've already incurred. I've taken a realized loss of 0.02 USDT for opening this position. Now, of course, the unrealized profit and loss depends on the price relative to where I opened it. If this goes into the green, it'll be profit minus the, uh, the realized loss that I've already taken. And if I close it at a loss, obviously it's whatever I close it at plus the realized loss that I've already taken. So now that this position is open, currently I don't have a take profit and stop loss set. Very easy to add. I can just add it, like I said before, 17,000, and maybe I wanna put my stop loss at 16,500. It tells me exactly here, it's very cool. It tells me exactly how much I'm gonna make and how much I'm gonna lose if these get triggered. It tells me the percentage ROI, so it calculates all of that for you. 
very very cool and right now I can just go and enter those positions just like that I can also go and close this position over here right now at market but then obviously I'd be taking a small loss if I do that so those are all the functionalities obviously I just opened this for uh, demonstrating this uh, for you as you can see over here it says that my derivatives account the equity is forty eight dollars and ninety five cents and the available balance is forty five dollars because obviously I have an open position here so I still have forty five dollars worth of margin that I can trade with okay very very simple and finally here is a calculator um, if you want to know about that you can calculate your position sizes your liquidation your entry your close price all of that is pretty straightforward you can play around with this your profit and loss your target price your liquidation price this is a very cool little tool and it's very helpful so i do suggest you use that so i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did smash the like button leave a comment down below with your thoughts if you have any questions of course feel free to ask i'm more than happy to help you can see over here this just went into the green so we got a very very small little profit here very cool to see live on the video of course if you haven't created a bybit account yet click my link my referral link down below this video create an account because you will get the maximum amount of bonuses when you make deposits when you trade and you will also be eligible to be able to trade and participate in custom trading competitions that i hold for intelligent cryptocurrency where i give away custom prizes to anyone who has signed up through my referral link and that's the only way you're going to be able to participate if you have any questions about trading of course feel free to leave a comment down below or of course if you are already in our vip membership you can always just post in the discord in the questions channel or you can reach out to me personally if you haven't yet signed up to icvip if you want to learn how to trade if you need that guidance i've got a complete 33 lesson trading course in the members area that you can get access to right now you have a full 60 day money back guarantee so come and learn sign up come and learn go through all the courses get my training get my own guidance come and join the community and then if you have any questions you can ask as much as you want and if for whatever reason you decide it's not for you within 60 days just email support you can get a full refund no strings attached uh, no conditions or anything like that so come and learn okay it's super super important that when you're trading and you're trading with futures or with leverage that you have a proper education that you understand the strategy that you know how to manage your risk because otherwise you're going to end up like most retail investors you're going to lose your shirt um, according to the statistics it's something like 90 percent of retail investors lose money when they are day trading or when they're trading with leverage it doesn't have to be that way but you need to educate yourself and the only way that i can help you with that is if you join my vip membership second link in the description down below so thanks for watching sign up for a bybit account right now if you don't have one already first link in the description down below come and join ic vip if you haven't done that yet second link in the description down below and for the rest i wish you all the best with trading lots of profits smash that like button I will see you in the next video.